Want to give you an example of why you should never throw away rechargeable batteries? Crews had to put out a fire that started inside a garbage truck, likely because of a thrown out lithium battery. That's also the message from Clay County officials. Right now, you are looking at one of two fires that started at the county's waste facility in the last month. The batteries are part of an uptick in fires that started across the state and country. Our Barrett Leone shows us how and why we should dispose of them properly. They're in your toothbrush, your laptop, even your cell phone. People are throwing their anything rechargeable or, or nickel cadmium or lithium ion batteries and they're putting them in the garbage and they should be recycled. Clay County Solid Waste Director Corey Bang says it's a growing problem in the industry. What happens when they get in the garbage is we crush them with our heavy equipment and once air gets to that battery, it essentially explodes. And in his facility alone, there's been two fires in the last month. We were lucky. We got both of them put out within a matter of just seconds. But others weren't so lucky. Around the state, there's been several fires that have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. In Becker County, a suspected battery fire caused nearly $800,000 in damage to its facility. If these end up rubbing together like that, that can create a spark. Brian Gastecki, Hennepin County Senior Environmentalist, says improper battery disposal is a top issue his team is working to address. What we're trying to do is reduce the toxicity in the waste stream. And then we also want to get and make sure these are recycled because we're pulling the raw materials out of the batteries so we can make new ones in the future too. It's a simple ask. To bring them all to us and we will take care of it from there. But there are some things to keep in mind. First, take the batteries out of your device, seal it in a Ziploc bag or tape up contact ends with clear tape and bring it to your local recycling center. Experts say that last step is most important. We just built a $23 million facility. If the thing burns down, it's only a year old. So it could be catastrophic to a county or, or to any business or home. Barrett Leone, WCCO News. Hennepin County has two drop-off recycling and hazardous waste facilities. You can drop off items Tuesday through Saturday. We've got more safety tips on WCCO.com.